dear friends, would you join us this morn as we take in the day our sweet Jesus was born? We bring you this tale from the rendering space and everywhere becoming gathering place where community challenges grows and succeeds by sowing and pulling out spiritual weeds. This tale is not pink nor yellow nor blue, but filled with the Christmassy red just for you. A representation of life that was given to give the best chance at this life that we live in. Would you journey with us to a house with a view? I would love you to meet our dear friend, Mr. Avu. I didn't see you there. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. Well, now that you're here, I want to welcome you to my home. In fact, it's your home too. Here at 99 by 1, the Render Gathering Boulevard. Come with me. Did you know that I come from the place called Kiribes? In our culture, we say Maori when we greet someone. I love the fact that here at the Render Gathering, we are made up of so many different cultures. In fact, how do you say hello where you're from? Here's an idea. Why don't you greet me that way on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Wow, that is so beautiful. So, Meori, Kiora, Kiorana, Bula, Bula Vinaka, what's up, G? <laughs> and hello. It's a special time of the year to spend time with those you love. You see my friend here? We've been able to stay connected online. It's important to stay connected. If only you were here to sing me one more song. Christmas, what a wonderful time of the year. You know, in the Bible, there are names that describe Jesus and one of those names is Emmanuel. Emmanuel means, listen, God is with us. It doesn't mean God was with us only, it doesn't only mean that God will be with us in the future, but what it means really importantly right now is that God is with us in the present tense. I want you to think about that this Christmas and all of the festivities and the busyness of your day and of this time. Take time out to constantly remember God is with us. Whatever you're going through, wherever you are in your life today, be encouraged that God has never left you, never will He leave you, and God will return one day, but He is with us now. Emmanuel, God is with us. His 
his name is called Emmanuel. God with us, revealed in us his name. Is called Emmanuel. Merry Christmas, everyone. Wow! Praise God. Even though we can't be together in person, we can be the church everywhere. Speaking of connection, Naudi. Naudi Herman, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. And it's funny you ask, because there is so much that happens in the life of our community and the Rinder Gathering. So I've called to tell you all about it. So close your eyes and use your imagination. Christmas is a time to get connected and stay connected. So we are having holiday hangouts during January. These are summer TikTok hangout, beach and picnic, and last of all, swimming spots and coffee shops. You can sign up now until the end of December, so please register as soon as possible. When it comes to our services during January, we've got you covered. We'll be having online services only in addition to the holiday hangouts and that's it. Everything else starts back in Feb. Hangouts and church everywhere. Simple, right? Thank you so much, Eden. That makes sense. But as we're both here in my imagination, how can I continue to give and be generous during this time? Wow, that's so wise and mature of you, Herman. You've grown so much and God will bless that generous spirit. Here's how you can give. Thank you so much, Eden. I'm so glad I can call you friend. That's okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Eden. Hello. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Hey, Herman, I've come to bring your family's Christmas box. Wow, what a blessing. Do you think that's a blessing? Have you been a blessing to someone else? Amy, could you do that just for me? Herman, your family is really special to us. This year we've partnered with other organizations and churches to be generous to families. I even think there is something on TV about it. Oh, is that right? Well, I happened to splash out on the latest TV. Let's take a look. Hey guys, it's Mark here. I'm just going around giving some Christmas boxes to our parties.
Well, what do you know? It's Pastor Cliff. Hey, Herman. I've actually come to deliver a special message. Come on in. I'm so grateful and glad that you've come to deliver this message. May I ask what the message is today? Well, you absolutely can, Herman. But this message is not just a message for you. It's a message for the entire world. Our message today starts in the story of Jesus Christ from the book of Luke. If you read that story, you'll find out and discover more about this Jesus that we worship and that we praise and that we come to follow and remember, especially during this season, which is Christmas time. I wanna bring you some simple thoughts and three things to think about during this holiday season. The first one around Jesus' birth is that it is a miracle. You see, Mary, his mother, conceived Jesus in a miraculous way. Her son would shake the world to its core in ways no one ever expected. See, Jesus was born in an animal shelter to a teenage girl who got pregnant in means and had conception outside of the regular ways that we would normally get pregnant. If you read again in the book of Luke, you'll see that story and you'll be wowed as to how that happened. So Jesus' birth is a miracle. The second thing I want you to understand about Jesus that made him so great is that Jesus' birth is a promise, a promise that he came to save the lost, those that don't know him. He came to heal the brokenhearted, those that don't have him. And he came to set us free, those who are imprisoned and in bondage. He was a king deserving of a palace, yet he chose to be born in a manger. He was a king deserving to ride a stallion, yet he rode in on a donkey, symbolizing his humility and his servitude to mankind. So Jesus' birth is a promise to us. But thirdly and most important is the part in the message that I've come to deliver today that I wanna leave you with. And it's this thought, that Jesus' birth is a reminder. And it's a reminder that God is on his way. It's a reminder that Jesus represents hope and that he came to save us. God is on his way. And if you're going through this season and you don't feel like you have hope or you have anyone to talk to or anyone to reach out to and that your future looks dire and dark, remember that this Christmas season. That Jesus came, one, and it was a reminder of a miracle. Two, that he came as a reminder of his promises. But three, that he came and was born as a reminder that he is on his way. Well, my heart is so full. I hope yours is as well. From all of us to all of you, have a very merry render gathering Christmas. This tale now comes to a glorious close and we left saying goodbye to our friends, I suppose. But as you depart, say goodbye to Lou. We spare a quick thought for dear Mr. Arview. His worship of Jesus brings hope to this nation. Remember we're part of a movement, not a location. So hug your friends hug you and cuddle the fans as you overindulge on your honey glazed hands. So thank you and bless you we hope you've had fun. We are the Render Gathering, helping you become.